tonight we're going to make macaroni cheese well we're going to make it as you can see it's not just cheese that's in the background here we're going to make it with a wee bit of a difference just tart it up a little bit turn it into what I just think is like savoury macaroni so firstly we're going to get a couple of pans on now it looks like I've got masses going on here but obviously vegetarian daughter got to keep some things separate um, but anyway we'll just boil the kettle straight off I have got about 450 grams of pasta macaroni just ordinary short green uh, Marshall's macaroni in my pot already um, I've just forgotten what I was going to say actually that's bizarre I could have used the Marshall's own but anyway I'll, I'll skip by that because I can't remember what I was going to say <laughs> one of these nights I think and get that on and this should only take about 14 minutes so I'm going to just cook in real time again. So once this is coming back to the boil, I'll just set my timer here for 15 minutes and that should give us plenty of time to crack at. So I'll keep my eyes on that. So for this tonight, I've got about 350 grams of really strong cheese. I'm feeding five, that's what I was about to say. I'm actually feeding five tonight, so 450 grams of macaroni should be enough. 350 grams, this is extra mature cheese. If you're using a lighter cheese, you would maybe need just a wee bit more. Um, smoked bacon, just back bacon. Not the endy bits, just the middle bits. Kenny can have the endy bits for his pieces in the morning. We've got one onion. These were massive mushrooms, so there's only three mushrooms, but you know, great big chunky things. So probably about 50 grams maybe of mushrooms. And I've used one full long sweet pepper. So once the heat's up we'll just get started. Like I say, I need to keep things separate from cross-contamination. So I'm actually, I've got some people tonight having the full works with the bacon and everything. I've got Naomi, vegetarian, only having the papers and one not having anything. So this will be a right higgledy piggledy one tonight. But anyway, we shall as I'd like to say, crack at. So I'll just stick some peppers in this one for Naomi. Get them started up. These probably will end up getting a wee bit too long, but never mind. And the onions in this one, straight off with the bacon, it needs to go up a bit. I'm forgetting I'm not on a big ring in the front one here. So this could... Okay, well, we just need to make sure it's on the high and hopefully it'll come to in a second. Turn the one on the back down then because we're not leaving it to cook overly quick then. I can just take it off in a minute. I don't have a lid for that one so we'll just pop a saucer on. And fingers crossed this is going to start moving any second now. Whilst we're waiting on it, I'll just go through for the sauce. So I just put everything together. So I'm wanting it reasonably thick because I'm making uh, almost two pints. So a good, well that's not very much in it there, so a good two um, dessert spoons. I'm going to make it two and a half actually because I want it quite thick tonight. So I'm just putting everything together. I like mis mus mustard, mustard in my cheese sauce. So a teaspoon, if I can get a teaspoon. Everything's running out, can I? I think we need to go shopping. Must be for we've only got left over from the holidays. I think we're needing to do a stock shop. Oh, see if we can scrape this off. Waste not, want not. All right. Twenty-five grams of butter. There we go. At least you're working. Twenty-five grams of butter. Good dod. I'll just leave it for a second because I just want to concentrate on this one for another wee minute. Just get everything started frying. Right, I should probably have had it on the front ring actually, that might have been an idea. I wonder if it would come up to heat quickly for a minute. No matter if I don't use it. So, whilst I'm waiting on this trying to heat, I've had a couple of questions this last couple of weeks. The first one has been about my hair. So somebody had actually said to me, 
I take it you've given her no moisture here. No, I haven't. So that's 18 weeks tomorrow, I think we're at. About that, yeah? 18, 19 weeks tomorrow. So it's obviously now reached its, like the pH balance in the scalp has to reach its, presumably, like it's equilibrium. Um, and it seems to be working. So just, I think I had said to you that I was maybe using a wee bit of bicarb every so often. Well, I haven't used it for two weeks now. So it definitely looks like I've crossed that, that hill. And the other question that I've been asked recently was about my clothes. Thank you very much for the compliments, it was very nice. Where did I get them? Now, I've obviously just come back on holidays and I can't just say to you, like for example, this is a quiz dress. Only I didn't get it in quiz. I got it in Aleph, Aleph, however you would pronounce it, community charity shop in um, Perthshire. That's where I get all my clothes. Not that particular one, but any charity shop. So it's been wonderful this last trip away. I was in Pitlochre and Alice and Blair Gowrie. And I don't go to any of the other shops. I only ever do charity shops. And this is the result. So again, thank you very much for your compliments. But you certainly don't need to pay a lot of money. I think mine's cost me about £3.50 this time. Anyway, into the rest of the vegetables. Um, out with them as well, it would appear. In and out at the same time, just get that pan up a bit warmer for a second. This is a great, um, usually I'm cooking this on Sunday this week, I've got some people up, so I just wanted a quick pasta dish. But often for me this is a great um, Monday or a Tuesday night dish, you know sometimes you've maybe bought, a, like we have this week, a twin pack of bacon, and well we've not used it all. So it's a great way just to use up that bacon, so as nothing goes in the bin. Well, what I'm going to just do here is let that now take care of itself. Back on the heat, lid on, I'm going to put that one here so as not to confuse them. I do clean these before I actually start, I clean my units because I'm very aware of the fact that I just plop everything down. Straight in with the milk. Now this is the bit that most people will go, oh you know, making a room. I'm not going to put it all in, I'll just leave a wee bit back just in case it's a bit too thick at the end. But I don't have a lot of room on this one, but anyway, we'll just crack it. So I just, like I say, everything in, into the pan and we just start stirring. Hopefully it won't take too long because where are we at? Oh, we've got eight minutes left. Oh my goodness, eight minutes. What can I chat about for eight minutes? Jings. Where are we at? Oh, we've been looking at our next holiday. It does seem like we're always on holiday. But, as long as I don't mind cooking, we always went abroad actually. We were always popping out to Crete or whatever, you know, like I say always, like once a year or whatever. But this last couple of years, We've just decided to do staycations in Scotland and what's not to like about Scotland after all and as long as I don't mind cooking you know you're managing a couple of good holidays in Scotland not nearly as much as it would cost you to go abroad because when you go abroad you would tend to eat out every night so you maybe eat out once or twice and then just take part in the cooking so this last um, week I've actually been looking again because we try and do sort of May, September time. So I've been away up in Pool U this last week. Found a lovely wee place up in Pool U. But so far it's just a maybe in the in the in the offing. Nothing getting the book just yet. Dad seems to think it's a wee bit far in advance. Maybe he's getting a wee bit worried. He'll be 85 on his next birthday and he's maybe starting to think, oh God, better not book five or six months in advance. Silly man. But that's the one thing I, I love about uh, going to stay in, in Scotland. I don't know, even, you know, just travelling two, three times a year, I bet you would, the chances are you'll never see the whole of Scotland. You know, I always laugh at these maps when they're in the, the weather maps and things because they always make Scotland look like this size and then England's that size. Scotland's massive, you know. I mean, 
it's obviously not as wide as it is long, but I mean it is a good, what is it Kenny? 400 miles long? Big. Big, it's big, there you go. <laughs> That's it verified, it's big. And I mean there's just such a lot to see. I mean I can't remember if I've said previously that a dream, our dream is ultimately if Kenny retires, he's hoping to retire in the next couple of years, to have a motor home. And the amount of time, it's probably drive him mad actually, drive him mad anyway, but the last couple of years, you know, from we've been going down, just even just travelling down to Mums, so that's from here to Edinburgh, there's all these wee roads that just pop up everywhere, and you're like, oh, would the motor home go up there? So I reckon, uh, for example, it took us more or less doing it straight, almost eight hours doing the NC500 last year when we were on the road down to Ardgarry. I think it might take us eight days <laughs> if we have a motorhome. Every corner you'll be going right up and be like, ah, halt, stop, must stay here for the night. So, can't wait. That's our dreams. Goodness, this has been a chatty dish. Once you start doing it, you see there's not enough a lot to be added into it and things. Everything's just taking care of itself. So I am about to come to the bubble. I'm going to put Naomi's peppers off because I think they will likely have had plenty of time. I love the way, I mean you might not pick it up in the camera, I love the way the oil just goes orange. I don't know if you, you might just see it down there. Go sort of ready orange, just the, and that's just the natural oils that have seeped out of the peppers. It's lovely. We'll pop that back on. I'm trying to do a sort of like a chefy thing, Jamie Oliver, but oh, jeans, that was hot. Use a towel next time. Note to oneself, use the towel. Right, so down with the heat for that because this is cooked and you really should take it off the heat. So, do I have a tea towel handy? Mm. I'll just pop it to the side. Like I say, 350 to 400 grams of cheese. The reason you take it off the heat is because it will hopefully stop it from curdling. You leave it on the heat and it might be just, I was going to say dissolve, I've had one of these days today, I've been using all the wrong words, but uh, hope, you know, you don't want it to be melting too quickly. So we'll just slowly stir it in and then add it up. I didn't have orange cheese in the house this weekend. Through preference I would use orange cheese just because it gives the cheese sauce a wee bit of colour. But when you're actually making it with all the various ingredients, it's not really mattering. Then the thing I'll do, and this one, I can't even what size the bag it is. It's a big bag isn't it? It's about 800 grams or something from Lidl and it's only 3 oh, 3.59 I think it is for 800 grams. I mean I could just about defy you to find that cheaper anywhere else. Or if you do it'll be somewhere like Aldi. With, that is an incredible price for extra mature cheese. I mean, so really strong. So in theory you shouldn't actually be needing too much. But I shall just have a quick taste. It. We'll just let that come down a wee bit. In fact, I think it's just see. I mean, it's just. I don't mind it thick, but some people might just think that it's just it becomes claggy when you're eating it. So I'm just going to add. You see, I mean, it is. It's poor enough. The spoon okay, right enough. But it's maybe just a wee bitty thick for some in this household anyway. So we've only got a wee bit about 100 mils there so we'll just add it. Just get rid. And whilst I'm stirring that in, well I think you're gathering now, love my charity shops. Yesterday I came across this. So here's your uh, question for the week. Can anybody tell me what that is? I mean I just love it. <laughs> the feel of it is just wonderful. Love the feel of it. But what the devil is it? Because I have got no loop de loo. So if anybody can answer that question or what they thought it was used for. I mean it, the lid does come off but it's not you know got a perfume stopper or anything in it. 
So I have no idea, but if anybody can help me out, that'd be good. So I think we are probably just about melted down there. I'll stick it back on the heat just for a split second. See what's happening in here. See if the magic has just worked its way through everything. Now, when I mix, I'm going to put everything in here. I'm not going to separate the oils or, you know, strain it out or anything. Everything is just going to go straight in. At this point, this is entirely up to you. You maybe would have preferred your bacon to be a bit darker. You know, you maybe... If you want your bacon to... It won't go crispy as such. I mean, you could crisp it up in the in the cooking, but it won't stay crispy, obviously, once you put it in the sauce. But if you want it darker, I'd cook it first before you do the onions. But for me, this is just... Everything's just about flavour tonight. You won't really notice it anyway once it's in the sauce. But that's absolutely fine. Right, so, straight into the colander with this. Now, this is where you'll need to bear with me a wee bit, because, like I say... I'm making for various people here, so I'll put a couple of ones out first and foremost and then get everything mixed in. So I've had my plates on heating all this time, but they've been in there. Oh! Whew, five minutes and keep in the microwave, that's the way to heat your plates. So what we're going to just do, I don't even know that this is going to fit in here, I'm just thinking that might be a bit of a disaster. Just drain it off. You'll be shouting at me to open this window in a second. We'll just do it before you do. So, then, yeah, that's the meat one. God, it's complicated these days. Mind when your kids used to just eat whatever you put down to them. That was before they discovered things like broccoli were, was a bad word. But anyway, if we're here to a fitty, we'll get rid of the spoon and just carefully mix it in. Try not to make a big, big mess as I tend to. But you want to try and make sure when you're mixing it that all the pasta, you know, because you know, that's, that's actually why you use tubes for this kind of food. And it's just so as you can make sure that the sauce goes up into the, the wee cavities. So firstly though, I'm just going to pop one out, or two out actually, different ones. And I'll pop them to the side, because I've got to keep them all, like I say, separate these days. So we've got one. It's purely macaroni cheese. We have one. Oh, that's maybe a bit tight. Here we go. We have another one that will be macaroni cheese. All of these are now getting hot. I'm wishing I did have a cloth. But never mind. We could all have a laugh when I start dropping the plates in a second. Woohoo! We do the dance. Right, this is Naomi's, which is just the macaroni but with peppers. So we can actually just mix them in ourselves, I think, tonight. I could actually have just done that. I could have put them all out like that and then just put the things over the top. I can just space it out a wee bit. And then I'll pop out one once I've mixed everything together. At least the plates will keep the food hot. So we're just going to put everything into here. All these, and look, I mean, there's loads of juices. And I mean, that's all the smoky flavour from the from the bacon. So you just want everything back in there. Nathaness. these in real time. So this is how quickly you can make a, a macaroni cheese meal. It's just got a wee bit of a difference going on. Again, if um, 
I had realised an hour or two ago that I was going to make this but we were out so I would have brought home some orange cheese and I would just have sprinkled it over the top just to give it a wee bit of colour but if you want to, I've got a hungry household tonight so I'm not going to but if you wanted to pop this in an oven dish cheese over the top tomatoes over the top of that sliced tomato and then bring it to the table and just watch everybody piling in but I think this is a lovely way to tart up just a bog standard macaroni cheese hope you like it Thank you very much.